questions and for those who listen what is lead and you know talk a little bit about that uh, yeah lead is an is a is an american uh, certification it's a certification in energy efficiency right of a building and how do you build it not only for when it's built but also during its building is the materials being used sustainable, sustainable. and people uh, it's a funny thing if i ask you a question you keep hearing carbon in the atmosphere we have right. to reduce we have to decarbonize and this is the hot yep. topic how much carbon dioxide is there in the atmosphere yeah 3 4% so what do you think it is how much oxygen is there in here oxygen i think 20 odd percent right 21 percent nitrogen nitrogen is the largest 70 odd percent how much carbon is that so bacha gaya 90 percent to bacha to 3 4 percent hi hoga yeah so this is the thing which people don't know yeah. it's 0.04 percent oh, there you go sorry it's 3 4 no 0.4 percent 0.04 percent right but it's such a sensitive thing the people think what are you breaking your neck for some 0.04 से 0.05 हो गया तो क्या है? No, it's not 0.04 to 0.05. It's a 20% increase. No, no, no. That's all. That's all yeah. it is changing. Yeah, but that's, that's the impact. That 0.04, if it goes to 0.06, we are done for. So it is such a sensitive little thing that to do that the little change, tiny change in that, if it goes this way by two points, all plant life will die. If it goes this way by two points, all temperatures will rise by four degrees, three, four degrees, and about thirty percent of the world's coastal cities will be underwater, including Bombay. Gone. There will be no coastal cities, whatever you know. So it's a hugely sensitive metric that, for instance, and it's not that the world has not solved this problem before. They solved it. You're probably the too young to remember it, but. In the late 80s, there was something called the ozone hole. Yeah, coal. they solved the ozone issue. I am fully how, aware how of that. How did they do that? Yeah. They, the whole world got together and said, no more chlorofluorocarbons. CFC. Huh. Out. Huh. And it it was a major thing was the air conditioning industry. They took it out. And the ozone hole closed. You watch during lockdown. Within six months of lockdown, the skies were clear. So within From six, Amritsar, you could see weeks. the Himalayas. Within six weeks. That's Not six months, six. From I think Amritsar, one week or ten days. One brother of mine lives in yeah. Amritsar. He told me first time in my life, I didn't know I was living next to the Himalayas. He could see the Himalayas. I, I was in Delhi during the lockdown. I could see the blue sky for a change. Yeah. I mean, so, it was not grey. So, the, no. the recovery is not difficult is what COVID has taught us, right? The nature will come back at some record speed. And even the so nature urban will, wildlife will come. We have to let it. And now, the awareness in the entire planet with COP27, etc, etc. This carbon thing has become on every company's, on every business's, everybody's mind has gone into it. So, I still have hope. I think that we will not. I hope we're not too late. We will not have a doomsday situation. I don't know, sir. The way the heat wave in Delhi is raging right yesterday, now. Yesterday, I think it was 47, right? Yeah, I, I was in Delhi yesterday and I tell you. No, you guys have to get, the citizens have to get their act together and stop those guys burning those fields. Yeah. Stop those guys emitting nonsense. You have the highest rate of uh, vehicular uh, population of any city in India. Yeah. You have to say, somebody has to say no. Yes, and how to do that? Everybody thinks somebody else is going to do it. Your generation, if you want to continue living there, you better do it. <laughs> get a gang together, do whatever little you can. Just to snowball into a I think that, that day is not far. That day yeah, is not far. I come it to Delhi, to I can't say that for more than 48 hours. I start, my son-in-law is from Delhi. Huh. So we come, you know, I really cannot understand how people live there with the yellow skies and fog and smog yeah. everywhere. It's crazy. It's crazy. I, I, I have three very young kids and... Why would you expose them to no, that kind of... It, it's a question that... Or maybe it's it's that they get more stronger, the survival. <laughs> <laughs> they get tougher. Well, that's the hope. Right? That's they the get hope. tough or something. Or yeah. Everybody has an air purifier all over the place in the house. What do you do? air purifier everywhere in the house. But at some point, you have to step out of the house also. No, If you keep the child full-time in air purifier, the day they're exposed to the outside, uh, they can't deal with it. So, I mean, it, it, it's not the prettiest so situation. Live a little far away. Not so close mm. to the center. Where in NCR, sir? I don't the, know, or something. Have you seen the air pollution? There's even, even worse, worse because the amount of high-rise construction that's uh, happening at that end, it, it 
there is no clean air within 100 kilometers of Delhi. Surely you should move to Jaipur and you know, Jaipur drive is, to work. Jaipur will soon get there. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of construction that's happening there. No, no, but uh, I think that's why there's a lot of migration of population happening towards the hills. Uh, yeah, there are lots of people coming here also from Delhi, yeah. resettling in Bangalore. Uh, this is a hill station. So, oh, well, yeah. we could so call it a hill station. The problem is everybody does that and then yeah. starts complaining about traffic. I tell them, you are traffic. traffic. Uh, <laughs> don't complain. Don't come here and say bad traffic. You are the traffic. 